here for um, public comment. You want to join us here at the hot seat? Okay. I assume you're the only. Um, was there anybody else here for public comment? No. Okay. Uh, hi, Tana. Okay. Do hi. you know everybody on the board? Let's no. do introductions. I'm Mark Mahalo. Oh, hi, Mark. Hi. You know me. I know everyone else. <laughs> You got, you, got, you. you got 15 minutes, Tammy. I'll cut okay. you off. Well, you can, I promise long. you that. Okay. Oh, got things to do. Um, I was just thinking a couple things today. Another thing came up, and uh, it seems that probably there's nothing going to be done about it. But I just rode my bike out Cranberry Meadow, <clears throat> and I started seeing all these wildflowers at the roadside. And I said, oh, wow, Woodbury must not mow. And then on the way down here, I was looking at our roadside and how ugly they are. And there's no wildflowers except for where the effing mower can't reach. Um, it's ugly. Um, the state seems to do it, too, on the interstate. Vermont, when I was growing up as a child, Vermont was known for its roadside flowers. And people came here to see Vermont's roadside flowers. Now, why? <laughs> It was a sudden drive to mow down all this natural beauty that we have available to us. Some of it is there's wild chernobyl and that parsnip. But that doesn't get it all either. I just saw it all. Yeah, I know. That's, that's the goal for some of it. Some of it is for sight distance and people are turning corners and stuff. There's a, yeah, there are a lot of reasons. Their basic maintenance to keep heavy brush from growing in that, you know, so. There's no reason it's that's going to work for me, but I appreciate it. Yeah, I mean, I mean. We've, we've been active with the turbo, and we work with forests and parks on this, and they, they recommended, what, two, three? Five. Five. Five, and we're not getting there. Yeah. It's because five, of the five, 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 five cuts. A year. And, and I agree, I know, where there's no turbo, the flowers are excellent. Um, but, but the turbo will take out a real problem. The turbo, yeah. 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 You probably heard about turbo, Tammy. Yeah, it's it's, it's such it. a hard thing to balance the beauty and the natural that we want. But we're not going to stop the turbo by mowing. I think that's been proven too, because that only serves to spread it. And lawn, um, property where um, they can't mow and it's full of the turbo. I mean, mowing is not going to stop the gerbil. It may even spread it further. So I don't think it's a good excuse. And um, it's ugly, and that's okay. So that's, I got my, my thing said, and as I said at the beginning, I know that there's <coughs> nothing that you people are going to do to change that. Well, no, just so I want to further inform you, we're trying to mow before they go to seed so it doesn't spread. Mm -hmm. yeah. Whether we're successful or not, this is right. really an experiment. I know, you know what? Yeah. I notice every year, I'm like, oh, aren't the wildflowers beautiful? You've got yeah. the buttercups, the daisies, which I thought were eradicated. Thank goodness there's so many out in Woodbury. Yeah. And uh, the clover and all these things that serve the pollinators. Milkweed. And just when they are at their most beautiful, I see that more. And it is hacking and chewing and cutting little trees. And it's <coughs> merciless and it's cruel. And it's basically a violation of the rights of nature. It's, it's ugly practice. And it's very unacceptable <coughs> to me. And there would be no excuse that that would work for me. But um, So we also have the um, situation with the constable. We don't have a constable right now. So we don't have any local law enforcement. And we have two fire wardens that have had a gun pulled on them that are refusing to go to a burn. So they're refusing to do their job um, because they're scared. And, um, you know, I, I've got a loaded gun. I just went and I shot, um, did some more shooting yesterday um, just to, so I can protect myself. But um, I'll go up back and talk to my neighbor and, and give him a hard time. And these days, you just don't know when someone's going to pull a gun. But... For them to be burning plastic, and your fire warden can't even come and address the situation. He said, I'm not coming out at 9.30 at night. I said, well, can you come in the morning? I never saw anybody. Could you get back to me and let me know? Nothing. Nothing. 
So they never um, got back to you about to me, in the morning? That is, I'm sorry, I don't know what went down with the gun, but that is really wimpy. That is really <laughs> cowardly. What do you mean what went down with the gun? Well, they said they can't go to a burn now because someone pulled a gun on them. Hmm. So in that case, um, you need a constable that could accompany the fire wardens to a burn or maybe seek out new fire wardens because he's like, well, why don't you be the fire warden? Yeah. Um, Sharon, um, we were talking about um, what might be the credentials that you have to have. So um, that would be with all of that and the importance of having local law enforcement with the way things are going in the world and so many more people moving in here, um, I would think that it would be very important, more important than buying a mower, uh, would be to pay the constable. I mean, I can't believe a constable would be an unpaid position. They've got to go and get all this. We pay our constable. Police. You do? Mm -hmm. It's, it's, not a, a full, it's not a full-time job. No. They well, have, there's how, a, that's the how much it's do they get? Job. How much do they get paid? It's, um, it depends how much time they have to dedicate to an effort. So if there is a special effort, let's just say I'll leave it at that, where we're having a particular problem where it's, they're consuming lots and lots of hours, we pay them an hourly rate. Okay, so it's not a set 20000 a year. Well, it's a stipend something. unless they have some unanticipated Expense. Expenses and, and level of effort. So what do you mean a stipend? So that's well, there must be a cap on it. Now it's an annual stipend. It's oh, paid, okay. paid once a year. And if What's they the amount? Um, I think we budgeted a thousand. It's in the town report. I think we budgeted a thousand for this constable. Not only the constable doesn't really have a whole lot to do. A thousand, that's all? It hasn't which is yeah, which it's is not actually a lot and it's not been a big job. It hasn't been a big job, and before like, yeah. that, this is the stipend amount is fairly new. It's only, we've only done it for like a couple of years. Um, but normally, these types of positions, just like select board, you know, planning commission, all these people are just volunteers. I know. I think I um, think we should think about that for everyone. I really do. I mean, this is important work. It's, it's sort of like I feel with employment anywhere. If you pay, pay your employees well and compensate them and treat them well, then you get a much better job. I'm not saying you're not already doing a good job, but if we want more active participation uh, from the community that we're just not getting, mm -hmm. you make um, a good point. we need to make these positions more important, um, put, a, put a value on it, put some money out there. Mm -hmm. The fire wardens should be getting paid. Um, this is very dangerous, they've had their life threatened and now they don't dare do their job. So mm -hmm. something, I, I think that the constable would definitely need to work with these fire wardens and if they're going to attend a burn, like anything, that they work together and that someone is carrying a, a weapon. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, Timmy, I mean, I never thought I'd hold a gun. And, and you, I you, do. Not to, I'm not changing the subject, but do you, you did you try calling the Agency of Natural Resources Enforcement Division? Oh yeah, he's been out. Ryan's been out. He yes. went and looked at oh, the good. pit. Excellent. He looked at the pit and he said, yeah, that's all unacceptable. I'll call him. So he called the man. Of course, he's one of these messages with some, you know, automated thing. Please leave a message after right. the beep. And that, you don't know if you're getting him. Right. So then he went and that was Wednesday Ryan came out. Um, my brother's two best friends surprised me and showed up blew my mind. Um, they were talking to me and he showed up. He was, Ryan's funny, he went up. And I said, we, we can move, you can drive up. And he said, I, I just went to Holland in the truck, I need to get out. So he walked up and he goes, yeah, that's all unacceptable. And he said, hey, by the way, you gotta get up there and pick some of those wild strawberries. <laughs> There's so many. So he went and he, so he called, left a message. Um, two days later on Friday night, um, the trash was burned and- Again, you mean? for the first time because it sat there. There was evidence of burned plastic, um, burned glass and cans um, were all crushed there. And then there was um, strips of plastic. There was a plastic clear bag, a big one stuffed in there, um, painted wood, a whole bunch Gee. of cardboard. Uh, so Ryan did 
but Ryan's just gotten assigned to a, another area because there's like somebody died or retired or something. It's, that's totally not the same thing. But um, so he contacted him for what number he had, mm -hmm. and I was actually what's today? I was going to call the town clerk. Today is Monday, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, and see if they had any updated um, contact information on him on Mike Perry. But when something like that comes up and you've got people burning trash and tearing up other people's property with their vehicle and parking on other people's property and being belligerent and um, threatening, we need to have, I need backup. I mean, I could call a neighbor um, if they were home. They you know, told me to call them if I need anything. But Yeah, be careful, Tammy. Yeah, yeah. be nice. Don't take that's where Ryan's job is. He did come out and uh, you can keep Well, he, he said he didn't know when he'd have time to get back to the callus, but Peggy said, uh, Peggy Bowen said she wouldn't be surprised if Mike had guns. Tammy, I'm gonna- uh, Time up? Almost. Yeah, yeah, almost. I do I wanna tell you, that. so so good news, we doubled the constable stipend in the upcoming budget, so it's 2,000 yeah. now, um, which is, you know, 100% increase. <laughs> not more than it ever was. Like yeah, said, we just barely started doing the stipend because we agree that it's an important. Position. I was thinking 20, and we do have a problem with speeders all over this town. And wouldn't it be great if they could that could be addressed? That's yeah. something we're working yeah, on as well. Great. And also, Tammy, the other night after we spoke, I I don't sometime over the weekend, I wrote up some notes and shared shared our conversation with the rest of the board. So even though you're not getting a chance to say everything they had a heads up and um, okay. that you and I spoke. Right. It's okay. good to get the word out. I talked to Jan Olson. She's really wonderful. I mean, it wasn't really her her thing, but that's what I think maybe Peggy got confused. She said a sister called her, so. Okay. Thank, okay. You Thank, you. Thank, Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck with the strawberries. Think about, um, oh, I froze up uh, 34 pints already. Wow. Vermont strawberries. They're all Joe's Brook, I think, from both co ops. That's amazing. And um, actually, I think I ate all of them. But most of them. <laughs> but now I'm going Thursday, hopefully, right around opening to see what Flywheel has and see if they'll let me buy and how many. Or do I have to leave some for be so nice and leave some? And, some. and Tammy, I just one other thing around the, around the, uh, you know these paid positions. We are today is June 27th, so we are literally three days away from the new, beginning of a new fiscal right. year. So, oh, so that would mean a whole year the budget's already been right. set. I just want to make I'm sure that you're aware, aware, aware of what might feel like a long time. It is a long time because the budget got approved in March for this coming year. That is yeah. hard. So you're saying we couldn't increase the constable's pay? No, yeah. It's a town meeting. It's town meeting. Bring it up. You, you can make a motion. You're allowed to amend the budget yep, on the floor. You're allowed to amend We're be here before we know it. I know, right? <laughs> I know. It's just really so far. I'm already thinking about town meeting. What do I... Should I... Um, Start a petition, like you can you start a petition and get the signatures from a bunch of people. To see if you if want to, if you want to put an rolling. article on the morning for this, for this, right? You'd have to come to the select board. You you can do a petition, but we haven't often required that. Okay. But we could put an article, or as John just mentioned, you can come to town meeting in March. It's a long time away. But that's the ch that is we can't change this. We would want to get it on the article before then. Right. 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 But so another that opportunity is we can you can amend the floor. Yeah, okay. you can amend, amend the budget from the floor. Okay, let's wrap, guys. Okay. Tammy, thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Good to see right. you. Good to see you too. Your little house looks cute. Ah, yeah. yeah. uh, thank you. Yeah, it's gonna get better. I don't think my guys are gonna come and do any work until toward fall. Ah. Uh, but. Thank I you. got plenty to do to get ready for that. Yeah, I'm sure. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. Uh, thank you, Tammy. Okay. Are there any additions or changes to the agenda? Yeah. Folks? Yeah. Denise, Mark, additions, changes to the agenda? No. no. Okay. Um, the warrants are circulating and it looks like they're everyone but me to sign them. Um, the next item on our agenda is the consent agenda, and we have two items on that to uh, approve our minutes from the last meeting. And Denise, you have an item around uh, one more document. Okay, I, have, okay. I have two things. I wondered if we could do the minutes um, at our next meeting. I, with everything else going on, I hadn't had a chance to review them. I think I helped fill in blanks, but I haven't had a chance to review them. Okay. 
Um, and so we're taking those off. We're taking that off. Yeah. 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 And the other thing is, is I've been working and communicating back and forth with the bank, and I asked them to send me the paperwork that needs to be signed um, because we're meeting tonight. I haven't received it. So what I propose is that I will track it down, and if the board approves it, I'll take I'll drive it around to everybody's house and get a wet. They call it a wet. It has to be so a wet. It has to be a wet. Help you like no, okay. no, I already asked. Okay. So if, if everybody's okay with that, I don't mind doing the extra effort and driving it around. Okay. Right. So that's so that's the three. item the, that's the consent agenda item, and we just don't have it here to sign. So we'll so move the consent agenda. Uh, Second. Minutes. Okay. Can Any other discussion? No, do we need to put it in the minutes? The, it, the documents never arrive, and I'll make sure that it gets yeah, signed. Sure. Okay. Yeah, Lisa, Lisa will write that down. Yeah. Oh, that's the other thing. Lisa's not here tonight, but Orca, when you get it posted, she's going to take the minutes from the recording tonight. Be, thank you for being here. Okay. Um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Uh, Jeremy. Come on up, Jeremy. Good evening. Hello. Long time no see. Long time no see. It's been a few minutes. How's everybody doing? Good. How are you? Good. I'm good. We have um, a few minutes to talk about three things and get one piece of clear business done. Okay. Right? Yes. That's what you want. You want to speak? Why don't you go ahead and take a lead on this? Um, the server closet? Yep. Okay, so the background on this is that I work next to the town server. I don't want to anymore. <laughs> I don't think it's safe, it's loud, it's warm, and it's taking up valuable space. It takes um, a lot of space. And it's, I don't, there may, maybe there's health ramifications, I don't know. Um, I just feel like it needs to go away. It should have been done a long time ago. Um, you mean the server and the Wi-Fi? This well, the Wi-Fi is <coughs> the wi there's Wi-Fi in the attic, but there is a little Wi-Fi box. But yeah, the whole station would basically move. So currently, there's two closet spaces in the town office. One of them is kind of the maintenance room and has all the pipes and all the things coming in and the water yeah. filter and all that stuff. Yeah. The other one is the supply closet that is basically being underutilized. Um, and so my proposal is to have that um, updated and have basically there's like kind of three steps um, and I sent along estimates Andy would come in and knock some stuff down and put up some nicer um, shelving and make the space that we need to be able to put the server in there which is kind of like a big box on wheels this is the current that's not current that's, that, the, that's the current supply that's the supply closet. That's that's, supply that's closet. what right. we want to do. Is it that you're shifting? Are you switching the function, or are you knocking down a wall and making it one big space? No, it's the same. It'll be the same closet. We're just gonna configure it so that there's that the server lives in there and all the office supplies will live in there. It would just be a better use of that closet. Of the, of the but there's two closets. So there's a server closet and a supply closet. No, there is no supply closet. Server closet will be one. The other one is like the mechanical room that has. Oh, okay. So that has nothing to do with this. Yeah, there's, there's, there's okay. a supply closet, and there's the maintenance thing, and then there's the bathroom. Yeah. There's so like step one would be Andy comes in, guts it a little bit, puts in shelving, creates the space. Step two would have Howard Kirby, who would be a contractor, come in, run all the cabling through the attic, just all sorts of stuff. Up to spec because he does large tech projects. And this is his Cockins network. Yep. Right? Yep. And you, then step three would be to have Holland come in and physically unattach the server, move the server to the closet, reattach the server, and then run whatever tests that he needs to do to make sure it's back online and everything's good. Do you need to air condition that space? Because of, I mean, they generate a lot of heat. If There's you put a, in so in the design, there'd be. Um, uh, there would be like a slats cut into is that above the door just to provide. Um, is that adequate or is that yeah? Adequate? We're into Holland. Um, <coughs> okay. okay. As long as it's vented to the space in the office, it would be adequate. Even in the heat of the summer. So it's twenty four forty one for. 
So I have a total, like if you yeah. add, so, and I did, I did look up, um, and I'm sorry that I didn't have that beforehand, the hourly under our contract at RB Tech would be $130.50 an hour. So if you add up his estimate, which was five hours, Kirby's estimate, which was $2441.57, Andy's estimate of $2,000, the total is $5,094.70 as an estimate. What does the Holland tell us that that? Holland is 130? 130 an hour is the rate per RB Tech. Five, so that's 650? 650250. 652.50. Okay. Estimated rate. So the total would be five thousand ninety-four and seven cents. Um, and my proposal would be to have that come out of the town office fund, which <coughs> currently has about fifty-seven thousand dollars in it. So and I'm, I'm just going to say we should always remember that when you get an estimate like that, you bump it by twenty percent. Yeah. So add another grand or something just in case. If so you say again, five thousand nine hundred and four. Ninety-four. Oh. Five thousand ninety-four. So oh, we're talking six thousand bucks. Yeah. 60, Sixty. What with a twenty percent buffer is sixty-one thirteen. I think that would be sufficient to so get the we, job done. So if we just had to round it off like 62. I think we'd be pretty safe. And it's coming from the town office. Town office. So there's a fund. Yeah. So yeah. The, and, and, and any updates, changes, uh, building of an office for the treasurer, all, this would be the first step in any of that. And the, so. the town office fund has what in it now? It's about 57,000. 57, okay. As of... Well, well we're, as of July 1st, we're going to be putting in another five. Thousand. It'll go in, so yeah, the June, the June okay. number was, yeah, there's so quite a lot of money in there. This, this basically gets covered from the, even the delta that's going, okay, so, yeah. all right, so. It'd be a good move. So, the, so does anybody want to make a motion on this? I'll make a motion. Second. And your motion, Denise, is? I make a motion that we authorize Jeremy to proceed with converting the current closet, supply closet into the server closet and authorize him to spend not to exceed $6,200 to be taken from the reserve fund for the work. Um, town office reserve fund. Town office reserve fund. And Mark, did you want a second? Second. Thank you. Any questions? Well, yeah, again, the only one I've got is on the heat. It may be worth talking to Ruben just to verify because I know we build a lot of <coughs> IT closets and they generate a lot of heat and those circuits don't like heat. So if, just to make sure that you're, it isn't, if I mean I, yeah, it sounds like you've already addressed it, but I. I can, I can readdress it. I think probably <coughs> what the fix would be, would be to purchase a mini split air conditioner that would run a couple months of the year just in the building itself. Um, but I, you mm -hmm. know. Or a little fan in it. Yeah, I mean, the door can go open. You have to move the air for sure. As long as it vents into the space, it's fine. You can leave the door open. There's a window that could get open. Yeah. That I talked at length um, with Holland, who's kind of our my main guy that I work with, and he didn't have any concerns as long as there was a, um, a way to exchange the air. Some vents cut into the wall, something that just as long as it can exchange with the ambient air in the building, yeah. um, he didn't have any concerns about that. I think you just want a high and a low. You know, you want to have a cold air return yeah. at the bottom, and you need something high there. Definitely. Okay. Okay, so um, all in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstain? Okay. Thank you. Uh, Thank yes. you. That would be a nice, and it's a nice first step just for, like I said, for anything that may happen in the future in terms of building an office space for the treasurer or whatever. I mean, there's money in the fund and that would be the first thing that would probably need to happen. And um, this will accommodate that. And that's because the server right now sits like literally in, it's, in, it's the, right in the queue. It's mm -hmm. right I'm here in his desk and it's right here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And, it's, yeah. and it does, it takes like All right, nice. It'll be nice. What I'm gonna do is come, I'm probably eventually gonna have to get an upright cabinet and I would be able to create a small area for mail so that we could have like kind of a dedicated area to process mail that's going out. So it'd be really helpful. Mm. Um, and then all the office supplies will go in there. The listers have office supplies. I have paper like in the vault, like all of that will be accommodated in this new closet. Nice. So that'll be good. Okay. That'll be nice.
It'll be helpful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It'll free up. So it's like when when there's space from the vault that's freed up and everybody has um, one place to get office supplies and then it would be securing, you know, stamps and things in my office. So they're not just sitting in a closet. Yeah. Great. So we have um, a few more minutes. Um, we have a couple other things. Do you want to talk about paint touch up? I haven't gotten a quote yet, but Tom Frost had touched up the paint not last year, but perhaps the year before. Yeah, it's been a couple of years. This is inside? Outside. Oh, okay. We had chatted over the winter. His suggestion was to have a quote done after the winter's over to account for whatever extra damage would happen throughout the winter. Um, I emailed him maybe a month ago and hadn't heard back. Bumped into him at the store. He said he was definitely interested and he's like, he could be in between big jobs. And I just said, hey, would you come and give me a quote so that we could get have that happen this summer. And he s sounded like September would be a month where he's in between things and would be a, maybe a good time to do it. Okay, you um, keep us posted on that. Yeah, and I don't think, it's not like a ton of damage, but there's mm -hmm. enough like chipping yeah. paint and stuff. It'd be good to. It's good to do because otherwise. It yeah, just gets yeah, worse every worse. year. And yeah, we did. Yeah, it's been a little while. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't yeah. outrageously expensive. It's one of those things like the longer we wait, it just gets more. Right. Right. more to scrape and more to paint. So I will be happy to forward that on um, for your consideration when I get it. Good. But I did, I saw him at the store the other day and he said that he would try to drop by soon and get a quote. That'd be good. Thanks, Jeremy. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Well done. Thank you. Help take care of the space. Yeah. It's nice to have you here. Yeah. Oh, it's good to be here. Do you feel like I'll be better about communication already? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I think it can continue to improve, hopefully. I think we've had, I've had a number of things in the recent past that were um, not the most ideal. I think a couple of them would just be like, tr you know, trying to get better at um, updating me if there are ideas that you guys have or things that you want me to do. There was a couple of things. One of them was, um, the roadside mowing issue, I had never really heard about my role in that until an email went out to constituents. Um, happy to help with stuff, but it's easier to help if I know that that's something that you guys want me to do, and then we can kind of have a discussion about, well, what do you want me to do with the information? Um, and so I think that was one of the things that fell through the cracks because it sort of came in and I hadn't had any communication with anybody about it, and so, that's um, fair. It just that's fair. sorry, yeah, we're that's how it sometimes went. we're sometimes we're just like yeah, and and you guys have a lot on your plate, yeah, um, we do. and especially you, Denise. I mean, we're all doing a lot, but like there's a lot going on. I think it's easy to have things fall through the cracks when we're not chatting regularly about stuff. Um, even things like. Um, utilizing the town clerk to forward applications or emails or things like that. Some of those things, like if it's in an electronic form, I'm just a middleman. Ooh. It might be better to, like. We're changing that. Denise, actually, we haven't said that, about, but Denise and I talked about that. She's putting her own email. Yeah, right. like appointing Denise as clerk officially to receive stuff on behalf of the board and having something where if it was a paper application that there's a process to just make sure that yeah, those things get goes, forwarded yeah. to you guys in it's, a timely manner so that things don't fall through the cracks. Well, but you're going to put, in, in that piece, you're going to put your own email address. My select board email. Address. Yeah, and actually, I think we all like that, you know, if you're scanning something to the board, send it to the whole board. Mm -hmm. And that works that works well and we all have it and we all sit at the seat at the same time. If there, you know, an option for that is just to create a, a, a dump email that doesn't have our name on it, but for those that were all of that type of document go. That way as you have changeover, you don't, right. we, you well, don't we, have, But we're in, we're, we're in place, right? I mean, I, don't, I would resist trying to solve problems that are probably maybe going to be solved in other ways. Yeah, okay. we know, but like, we'll try to do better on communication, I'm sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Um, and we get. I mean, to be fair, Jeremy, you we get surprised too. You probably know that there's oh, yeah. things that have come up that we're like, wait, what? Yep. Um, so. So it works. It works both ways. We just have to help each other out and be team players. Yeah, and in and uh, among that, in terms of communication, um, 
phone calls on the weekends, emails on the weekends, on Fridays and Saturdays. I'm yeah. not. A, I'm not you available. Gotta check them, right? I'm not. A, you're calling my house on the weekends. I don't. I, unless it's an emergency, I really am going to need to insist that that it's the business that we conduct together is happening during the week. I currently work Monday through Thursday. That's the salary that I have. I work 32 hours a week. I haven't really worked 32 hours a week since I've been here, and it's been almost a year. So it's. I, I'm really trying to focus on conducting business unless it's an emergency. Yeah. During business hours. So right. when, I, when I send an email out on a Friday or a Saturday, I'm not expecting you to answer. But it's something that I'm doing right now, and if I don't do it right, right now, <laughs> right. It's, it's, not it. it's not just emails. No. Remember, we're volunteers, so we often do things on the weekend. Yeah. But we understand you'll be reading them on Monday evenings. Mornings. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mornings. Evenings, mornings. Yeah. Evenings. I mean, that's because you know. So we have time <laughs> work. No, I understand that. Yeah. But it hasn't. It's not just emails. I'm getting phone calls, and if, if it's a phone call regularly from, from us, from Denise, yeah, I got phone I calls. You once. No, that's not accurate. And phone calls on, you know, there was the Town Highway Seven thing. Call me on a Friday. We're wanting things to be, happen on a Saturday. We just need to get a little bit better. At, well, yeah. Now we now we have Jamie to post. Them, and I think so that will be helpful. So that will help. Yep. And that's you know one of the reasons that I wanted to just back away from that role a little bit because it's it was taking up a lot of time. Mm -hmm. um, I put in many hours on the website. I was homesick with COVID and posting things. I spent hours on that website um, just for um, the DRB stuff that was going on because there's a lot going on. There's lawyers involved and it's, mm -hmm. there's a timeliness mm -hmm. aspect to the things right. that are coming in. Um, so I think, and so far like with Jamie coming aboard, it's been really helpful. helpful. Right? Yeah. Um, and I've seen things get posted and oh, it's been, I think that Jamie's doing a great job. Jamie's actually way better at this than I am. Well, thank I'm you not, thank you for training her. Jamie is a webmaster in other yeah. places. So right. it's, um, ja Jamie player. had a lot of other thoughts and ideas and right. I think it's, um, it's so far been really good. So that was a really good move to yeah. get good. Um, good. Jamie on board. Um, so I think, you know, it, and it was also just, in all fairness, it was a timing thing with my assistant being out for many weeks, right. and so there was sort of... The workload was more. Yeah, and we're, you know, you had uh, the listers dropping the abstract for the grand list, so there's a lot of people calling and asking questions and mm -hmm. wanting to grieve, or maybe not grieve, but complain, and then you, and then... <laughs> Which is fine, and some of it is just not understanding where did this all come from. This feels very arbitrary, and just, you know, before being like, talk to a lister, just having a conversation with them about what the process is, and what their, uh, their duties are if they want. If they don't want to pay that amount, and they have a reason for it, like, right, well, you people, have an opportunity. Right, and those people um, should, you know, here's the lister's yeah. names. Numbers, yeah, call them, you know? and they do. And then the primary coming up, there's a lot of phone calls and a lot of things. And, and, yeah. and then on the other side, there's just been there's a lot of email traffic just working on treasure stuff for folks because they need their tax bill or they're trying to find out what the non homestead rate with the you know, lots and lots of questions. Mm -hmm. And I think, um, so it's like all of up. those things mm -hmm. added up to right. A, well, and Cynthia, Cynthia said. And I'll give you a copy now for you and one for Barbara that we're going to talk about later. I don't know if you're going to stay. Um, it has to do with, where is it on the agenda? The uh, treasurer oh, update. Yeah, the treasurer update. Um, as you know, I've been working with them a lot. They're wonderful people. And this is a memo I put together for the select board. And I made a copy, and I wanted to CC you and Barbara on okay. so you have the information. You don't have to read it now, and you're welcome to stay for the discussion, but mm -hmm. I want to keep you in the loop. Thank you. Yeah, Jeremy, I'm going to cut you off. Thank you. Great. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, Jeremy. Have a good one, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Good for you. Denise, you were speaking of personnel changes. You were going to just... Yeah, just briefly, sure. um, we're, we're public about where we are. Right, just so everybody knows, Barbara Butler resigned as Assistant Town Treasurer, effective June 30th. Jeremy resigned as Webmaster, and I did follow up with him, because when he said that, I thought, oh, okay, we've got Jamie. But then I was thinking, does, he, does that mean he's not going to post town clerk-related stuff? And he said, yes, he would continue to post 
non clerk related items, like you know, about the elections and things like that. So we want to reserve Jamie for everything else. And that brings me to Jamie's so primary webmaster. Lisa Grace has been taking our minutes and doing, I think, a really good job. Um, but we have a backup. We have an opportunity for a backup webmaster because right, so Jeremy to, is, and Barbara are stepping away from that. Right. Barbara, um, Barbara didn't say she was stepping away in her role as assistant town clerk. But that'll probably be next. Yep. Um, so we need to put the word out that we're looking, and I'll post something on front porch forum that we're looking for an assistant webmaster. And Constable 102. Oh, Constable 102 and um, Animal Control Officer 102. All so many opportunities. So many wonderful opportunities to serve your town and be thanked. Very graciously, I'll just make a face. Um, we're going to make you the thank you officer. Yeah, and you're going to be the, the cord, cord, what do they call that? Miss Cordial? Cord, congeniality. Oh, Miss Congeniality. <laughs> Mr. Congeniality. Yeah, that we thought so. Yeah. So, yeah, so we have two ACO and two constable because we didn't have a second constable for a long time. So, now we have none. Now we have none. So anyways, I'll be posting these items, just so you know, on the on front porch forum. I think that pretty much takes care of it. Yeah. Yeah. And we are gonna just try to be better about saying all of those out loud in their own agenda items so that people will get clear. Right. So it'll be in the minutes. It'll be in the minutes. We talk about it but we don't when we don't say it like as a thing, it seems to get lost. So now it's a thing. Okay. Alfred, Roads Report. Alfred has show and tell. Hey, he's got buckets. You brought props. You brought buckets. Buckets of gravel. Yes. Candy to chew on. I have two different options. Uh, one is the type that we used last year, and the other is the type that is from Bickford's Quarry. Is this the one that we had the sieve analysis done several years ago? No, this is. This is all new. This is this isn't gravel. This is stone for the sand. Oh, so you don't do analysis of stone. Okay. No. So these are the parts that we are using now. Maybe you just run on. Pass them on. These are what we're using now. Right. And this is and this is what? That's lead, crushed lead. And this this is a mixture of uh, quarter inch and three quarter inch. It's a byproduct from they're making they're making this what they call powder. It's for the walking trails and biking trails that are going all over the state of Vermont. Now what is this going at John has? What is yes, this going? It's, uh, it's it's just a blend. It's a blend. It's a three blend. Yeah. Yeah. These guys are all pretty much the same. Those are all pretty much the same. And where is this from? This is from Victor's Quarry. Mm -hmm. so that's a, this is granite. There. Yeah. Anybody in the audience want to learn an opportunity on this stuff? Things to put on the roads. This is for what? For mixing with the sand, the winter sand. For this does not look pointy. This is more rounded than. And, yeah. and, and the stuff you put on Singleton Road, we, uh, south of my house, is like that. It's nice and big and round. And what was the stuff you got in here? The planks we got was this. You're looking at gravel. There was stones. I know, but that was in a gravel situation where we're resurfacing. This uh, is winter sand. Oh, this is the stuff. This is the stuff. This is the stuff that people complained that we were causing them to have flat tires. Well, there was some that was. This doesn't look pointy. That's why I'm wondering. This is the stuff is that, that was in the sand. Is that the way that the planks were in the sand? Right from the sand. Down. Mm -hmm. This stone came right from the bottom of the sand block. Alfred, can this you just look pointy at all? Alfred, can you, John, can you, um, so can you help us, those of us who are not geology, anything at all? Gravel illiterate. Totally Ill illiterate. So this is for winter. When we had complaints about stones piercing bicycles, was that a different? That was in the winter. It was, it was in the yes, winter? Yes, ma'am. It was in January. And Doug Lilly sat right here with a cast on his arm 
saying that he was riding a bicycle and these stones were bothering his comfort. That's that's why we're talking about this today, okay. Okay. mainly because I need to get my sample. So was it because there's stone. because there's stone left in March or April when people are starting to be on? I mean, Doug wasn't out biking in January, but there's stone. Is it right. the residual that still sits? That was around? his that was his reasoning for having a complaint about the size stone that we're using in the winter time. Right. Okay. So the board asked me to before I put another pile up okay. to come and talk to you. That's right. why I'm here. Okay. So can, can you, you give us a cost, cost difference between these two? Yes. <laughs> and availability. Yeah. Well, right. that's, that's true also. I mean, this stuff from Vickers, there's a nice big pile over there, probably plenty for us. This is the same story. Okay. Now, we can go with this stuff, but smaller. Wait a minute. This is three quarters. Point here. I can't okay. this. That stuff. You can go with this stuff. You can go with that on. smaller, so they but it's almost it. double the price. Because uh, I have crush it smaller. And this is the Bickford stuff. No, that's pipe. That's pipe. Bickford's gray. And so is this stuff gray is no more money than this stuff? It's about um, the same. Well, Bickford's, the mix is $15.50 per yard. Yeah. Right? That's Everybody this. Else that's this stuff. stuff. Yeah. Where the pike industries is for that, the, the half inch was $14. So it's very close. Mm -hmm. And that's the bigger stuff. This is preferable. This, I would think this is going to bail us out of the problem yeah. with, yeah. with yeah. tires yeah. and with, with... And the, and the price is comparable, less than yeah. less yeah. well. well yeah. 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 It's, it's actually good. cheaper if you wanted it that small. That they serve us pretty well on the track. When we, and also the trucking. I mean, the, the pipe stuff comes from Barrett. Mm -hmm. So we're coming through Barry City all the way up through Eastern right. Clare. This, this is at Marshfield. Right. What's so, your recommendation? Well, after seeing this, this is like a brand new product this year. We That was not available. And it's only because this company is making this stone dust mm -hmm. for bike trails and hiking trails all oh, around the state. Know. So this That's is the, the byproduct. Yeah. Uh, this is the byproduct yes. from that. From that dust, sand dust. Is it, so is it? So it's the byproduct. Does that mean that it's getting sifted off because it is specifically not bike friendly, or is it a byproduct? No, it's not fine enough. No, it's so because it's it's when they screen it to get they crush it and they screen it, this is what comes off the screen. It's like a screen. It's a flat piece and a different size holes in it. I see. This is just, so so this, this is the stuff that when you bike on, it's like biking on. It's, it's like. It's hard to bike on. When you guys, when you guys are first grade, right. when you grade the road, it's crazy. Plus, there's right. multiple okay. sizes. That's right. the other and this, and this stuff is Some people perfect. want just three quarters. Some people want half inch. This is this got is a quarter, multiple. half, three quarter. It's all mixed. So, in, in technical terms, that stuff will swish down to it, right? Into the That's not the issue. <laughs> No, he's not providing the dust. He's saying this is what's left over after they save right, no, the but dust. Right, but when they use this, when Alfred Dahmer would use Well, I mean, if you look at the size of the legs, I think I guess the that's point right was that the stones were too big. It was acting like marbles on the, on the frozen solid rope. Mm -hmm. And this is going to be smaller. It's going to, they still got some sharp pieces, so that so they can dig into the ice. So my smushed turn to turn the leg. So, so it's smaller and closer. Yeah. Right? The, 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 the one on the end is from Bigford, which is closer. Right. And it's, is that the cheaper one, too? When you factor in the trucking, yes. Okay, so it's a dollar, a dollar, whatever, more <coughs> expensive, but, but offset by so the trucking. So Pike has a similar product to this. It's this kind of stone, but it's similar to this. Same uh, three uh, quarter inch to three quarter inch. But Pike is further away. It's further away. Plus, it's more we expensive. Can buy, we can buy that for eight dollars a yard. Oh, oh I the see. Mix. Okay, but, so that's the issue. But when you figure the trucking from Barry versus from Marshfield, it kills the they're price. gonna right. So it sounds like sounds yeah. like you're recommending this from Bickford. I am now. As of today, I've seen that today. I called him today to see what he what he had because they don't. And last year they didn't have any any sort of stone. They, their crusher was broke or whatever, they, they, they couldn't get it. So I went over there today and looked at his pile, and he's got plenty for us. Okay. So, okay, so if you, if you were going to frame, frame a recommendation, it is, is there a name for that stone? Uh, 
It's the blend. It's the blend. It's the blend. Right. The Bickford blend. The Bickford blend. Bickford blend. That's a good name for it. Bickford blend, um, which which is cheaper when we when we incorporate an awareness of trucking costs. Right. And in terms or of comparably priced, comparably, comparably priced right. when we consider trucking, and then in terms of bike friendliness, do you have any comments on that? It's smaller, so it'll be better. So that's better. Yeah. Smaller yeah. is better. Yeah. Smaller is better. And so it can, doesn't have sharps. So, so, that's good. so right. you're. Feel, I mean, you're gonna so you're a non. Are you a biker, Alfred? Yeah. Say again. Do you bike? On um, rare <laughs> we, I mean, to be and fair, like a ride to a tractor or something. I don't right. Know about that. To be fair, the only biker recreational, who, though no. But Doug, Doug is the only biker who's complained. Mm -hmm. So well, no, I've had other other you know, Well, you know, I, on that, on that, I want to tell you guys something right now. Uh, one of my workers, my newest employee, stopped by. Uh, is that John? No, Peter. Peter Daly. No, it wasn't Peter. But anyway, Doesn't matter. That's not the point. Anyway, yeah. so he was driving one of my tractors, Haney, this summer, this this weekend, and stopped by because the bikers had that the trail yeah. going around. Yeah, they went by my And he stopped to talk to them because they were offering drinks, and he thought he could donate, you know, for a drink. I thought he thought that's what he was. So he stopped, got a drink, talked to the guy. The guy that was handing out refreshments reiterated that Callis roads were best. Most of the bikers were, a lot of them were commenting on how our roads are comfortable to ride on. Oh, yeah, I actually had heard, that, I had heard that from the bikers too, that the Woodbury roads are terrible. Yeah, they like, yeah. Like they what's do. going on? And I said, well, they lost the road. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah, well, I'm sure, I mean, those guys that are avid bikers, they're going all over. They're not yeah. just in yep. Yeah, they do that. They do this tour every year. They come out of house every year. Can I just well, ask you a question here? It, this is his recommendation. Yes. Right. Is this the kind of thing where we need to be involved? I mean, we asked him to show us, and I appreciate it that he showed us, but do we need a motion and approval? Or is no. this the kind of thing no. that we decided no. this direct? I just wanted to get clear so that, so we can answer questions. It was brought to the board right. only because, because we, we had a complaint. Right. Yeah, yeah. Right. And right. a concern, and we've had concerns over the years, so it's, it, it helps us back up, Alfred, if we say we looked at it. And and the blame, you can blame us too. Right. Him, yeah. So I mean, the sense of us is we support what else. Right, and generally, yeah. I, mean, I also want to, I want to also, again, release a statement, so I want to be clear. We generally don't get complaints from bikers. I mean, Cal's roads are gorgeous. The road, the quality of roads I do bike is, depends on how recently a grader has been through. You're going to be really grumpy if you hit a road and they graded yesterday, no matter what town it is. But that's unavoidable, and bikers know that. So, all right, so Alfred, thank you. I think we're, we're good on this one, right? Got it? Okay. Um, so that's the winter. Oh, we said it was an action item, but it's not an action no, item. I don't think we need to the action is thank you, Alfred. Well, but we didn't. Did we get a mowing update? No, we got to go back to the top. We're starting to go going out of order. Yes, yeah, so we're Well, everybody decided to see what I had in the well, we That's right. Alfred, Alfred wants his stone, so we have to get that. Like pudding or something. Snacks, okay. popcorn. You could chew on them, but your teeth wouldn't be <laughs> Oh, Alfred, funny, funny. Uh, All right, mowing update. So we are just about done the first pass around town. Um, there's just a few, a couple, I know, I know the county road's left, and I know the whole, the, what we call holes off the county road, Long Meadow and Wheeler. Um, and then there's just a few others, but most of, most of the town has been mowed first time around. Okay. And as you know, some of the first ones that we've done look like we haven't done them um, because they grow. It's just that time yeah. they grow. They grow. Oh, but they're not, it's, they're not seeding. Yeah, they're it's not true. Right. Yeah. I was going to ask you, did you see several chervil in, in seed? I haven't seen any seed in there. places where right. we've mowed. Right. Now, we're only mowing for four or maybe five feet tops. There is a seeding growth. section on Toby Hill there, right? At that, where it hits, it looks like it's in that. Little gore, you know, going up to Porter's. Yeah, I think that's well, all. That's, that's all, all over stated. Porter's property. Right. Yeah, I mean, places where we're not mowing, we're, you know, we're only reaching so far out. Yeah, yeah. There's nothing does. we can do. With right. It. I mean, that's out of our out of our hands. Um, 
I do have a list that I've been sort of going by, as far as which was the one that um, Julianne Gardner provided for us back way back five, I guess five years ago yeah, now. Five or six. Uh, sort of been going by that because okay. that's because she determined where they where the stuff was. Have you seen it? I would imagine it's in more places at this point, but yeah, well, yeah. Spread it. Yeah. yeah. Well, you have a charcoal farm, don't you? Aren't you raising charcoal, Shannon? Yeah. No, no, she's raising no, wild person. No, oh, that yes. we have really made a difference on. But that's another top conversation for another. So as far as I know, I think we're in good shape there. I'm going to keep after it, keep going around. Uh, some days, days when I don't need all the manpower, uh, just trying to fit it in, trying to make it happen. But we're, we're the first time we're around the first time, lacking a few, a few roads. Good. Um, yeah, so I don't come by my house like you. Yeah, yeah. And then they've been alternating. Peter Daly was on it for the first two weeks, and then John has ridden it for two weeks. Well, it's good to cross. Yeah, it's good. But it was yeah. To do. Yeah. Well, nobody really likes it. Uh, well, too bad. <laughs> nobody likes it. Nobody likes it yeah. so far. No, I mean, they're doing it because you know it's part of the job. Right? It's part of the job. But, yeah. um, nobody's really fighting. Isn't it, to get isn't it an air conditioned cab with like stereo or something? It is. It's the uh, radio needs help, uh, <laughs> but the AC. <laughs> They actually complain because it's too cold in there. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm not getting it. It's, that, I mean, the air conditioning really what works. What a problem to have. I know. So I was thinking the other day when it was 90 degrees. Yeah. So they need a stereo upgrade. We need a stereo upgrade. That's right. Yeah. Uh, there is something going on with the brakes, uh, which is going to have to be addressed soon. They work fine, but there's the slave cylinders are inside the... Oh, no. The hub, the, the, the full axle hub, so it's pulling. and so it's going to be pulled apart to get the leaking. Do you have to yeah. send it out, or are you guys going to do that with Sean? I think we we'll probably would have to send it out because it's, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's a lot to take apart. Yeah. Yeah. And it uses mineral oil. Yeah. So <laughs> the only place to buy mineral oil is is the drugstore. Yeah. So Mineral. I've gotten some looks actually. <laughs> when, I, when I go in there and I got two jugs of mineral oil. Oh, and, yeah. uh, and nobody it's said anything. It's the new drug. That little yeah. spark yeah. underneath there. Right. You know, <laughs> what do you do with mineral Just oil? Just give, give him a bucket of gravel. So anyway. <laughs> yeah, walk yeah, in there with your buckets. Yeah. So uh, I'm just keeping the reservoir full and the brakes are fine, but it's just that something's going to have to be addressed. So, hey, thanks for helping us on the dog problem a couple weekends ago. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. The cage is at my house. If, if and when someone goes by, it's right in front of the barn, they can grab it. That's okay. Nice. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind storing it there. But then I'll it there. Okay. Also, I think you did, you guys did a pretty good job clearing out the windstorm things. Yeah. 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 There was a lot of was up, I mean, you know, yeah. the, the, you know, Marshall Road was completely locked. And there was another one that I think I told you about. And there was a hole created by an ash going over by Joy Stoll's. Yeah, so fix yeah, that. Yeah, another big one down over. Mm -hmm. I to be filled it somewhat and put a stick there with a flag, but I didn't have time to fill We're it. We're going to see more of that. Let's, yeah, hang on, guys. We have two, uh, two yeah. actually not insignificant items. We have to do Peter's uh, application for private maintenance. Peter, you want to join us? Um, we have your application, so I think it's really to um, ask Alfred what I did with it. I'm sorry? Process improvement for Peter is fewer pages. Oh, well, okay. he provided documentation. Yeah, yes. sorry. No, I know, but and remember to include me on your, and Alfred, I, I, it's a PDF, so you can just scan through it and, did you, and look at it. Did you did you have a chance to look at it? You said you didn't print it. Yes. Okay. So, um, Peter, it seems like 
what you're proposing is to go out there and actually look at it with Alfred to mm -hmm. fill in the details. Am I, you gave us most of the owners, thank you. The species we're dealing with churl. Um, but your strategy for line of sight is to do a preliminary site review with the representative from the town, and that would be you, Alfred. Um, you, I'm guessing you guys haven't done that? Yeah. Okay. Um, so, in terms of action we might take tonight, do we want to do a preliminary for approval and sign it at another meeting when Alfred can come back and say I met with Peter and we looked at the site and here's the strategy so we well, actually have a strategy. What type of site will we be looking at? It's not the same as for a curve. Trip. So are we only looking at site distances when it's on a curve or? Well, yeah. It's a line, line of sight. Curve or intersection. Okay, yeah. it's, it's how Peter's going to maintain line of sight on the proposed no mo area and getting Alfred and Peter on the same page around how right. that's going to work. Well, I, I guess I would ask Peter what his plan is for mow, for mowing it. Well, that's that's what I want to find out is what you more than line of sight, what you think, it, you know, what you want me to do, or me and the people who live in that that district want want you, because I don't have a clear understanding of what you want uh, well, or what the select board wants. I mean, I want it mowed like the rest of the roads are. That's sort of what I want. Well, if we can, you know, there, there's woods and there's ditches and there's slopes going down. And if we, if, we, uh, if we go over the whole thing and I make notes as to what you want, then I have a clear understanding of what you want. But without that, I don't. Okay, so let me ask another question. Mm -hmm. um, you've been pulling the chervil. I've been digging it. Digging it. Digging it and weeding it, yeah. Weeding it. So the chervil's not there. Presumably, um, if you're, if you're, if you're been pulling it and if you're keeping up with that, the chervil's not there, I should be able to mow it. All right. If what? the chervil is the reason we're not mowing, then I should be able to go mow it if he's got it pulled. I think chervil well, will I have don't it. have it mow. Chervil has a, a cycle. So uh, when, in the first year, that seeds are produced, the seeds don't do anything, they have to sit there for the winter. Then the second and third years, and maybe uh, it grow, or even fourth year, it takes that to grow a low plant, which I also weed. And then the fifth and sixth years or so, just because it varies from year to year what, what a plant, or the, each plant's plant, then it bolts and gets a long stem and flowers and goes to seed, which is already starting to do now. And so, all I've gotten is what I can find so far. But what I can find isn't what's there. There's a lot more there than I can find. Um, so in the starting, in the, when it starts producing this low plant right away, it starts producing buds on the, uh, on the, on the roots. And that sort of starts producing more roots, which is really the way that it spreads once it gets away from the <coughs> Um So. That's the reason that, for instance, you haven't mowed my roadside now for four years, I think. And I'm still getting new plants um, because there's this long six-year sequence that it takes to produce a plant that you, that's obvious. It's sticking right up there with a flower on it. Right, but if they're not going to seed mm -hmm. until they But if you're bringing in more stem. seed, if you're bringing in more seed from somewhere else, then you're, you're adding you're the, to that sequence and starting it over again uh, on a, so, so, what so what I'm not gonna find out if you do that so, is whether I'm making it or not. So, so let, me, let me interrupt for a sec. So Alfred, it's not a question of when you can mow. It's a question of what does Peter need to do, do so that he is replicating to some extent the town's mow, mowing to manage against, to manage for line of sight. I think that's the question. It's not a when does Alfred go and mow, because as Peter's describing, there's all these different stages of growth. Even though he's 
even though he's pulling out the ones he can see, there's other things that he's working to to guard against, if you will. And I, right, I think it's been, you're saying it's a no mode zone. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Some more but, about what do we? But want. it's not. A, but 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 yeah. what we are what, what the town is requiring now through this you know this sort of we're in a trial period with this application is that Peter work with you <coughs> so that he's using maybe a hand side maybe you know something to do a private mowing. That's what we call it. We call it a private mowing. But this is a meeting of the minds around you recognizing okay. We are allowing Peter this, 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 you know, effort, this experiment. Um, nobody ever said that it had to be a town mower with a big blade and a big, big tractor to maintain line of sight. That's not required. So what is, but there is a line of sight expectation. And that, keeping the road from growing in. That's right, the right. Growing. So I think, I. I'm just going to speaking for myself, but then the board can react. If if we are if we, if we all agree with what I'm saying, then I then I think the next step is for Alfred and Peter to go do the the, the visit that site visit that Peter is asking for, and it's slightly premature for us to approve well, because we're missing that information. Right, we can't put in any conditions on the right. line of sight until you guys. Go and meet and figure that out. Right. And, and I, I'll, I'll cite uh, uh, Rick's uh, email where he said, This is a, a dry run That's of the July. process to see how it works. That's mm -hmm. And nothing's getting mowed. And it's going to, you know, but I'm sorry? By the time Peter and I get together to look at this and get back to the board, now we're halfway well, through July. No, I mean, and, and Alfred, not, this is not new. You haven't mowed there in years. It's, so so this, is, this is an improvement. Because Peter is going to go out there with his scythe or his weed whacker or something, and and do keep this well, I'm down. Just saying, I'm just saying the 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 liability of law of lack of sight distance is still very much there. So then whether Peter and I go and we agree on that term or not, it's still there for the town of Calus. Then why don't so okay so why don't we why don't we do a Without signing off, why don't we do a? We've been working on this with Peter for years. Perhaps we could do a sense of the board that if, when Peter and Alfred agree, they can write us an email, and, and we're even though we haven't signed it, if 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 it feels immediate to you, Peter can get out there the next day and decide where you guys have agreed it needs to happen. And we'll we formalize can, it at the next meeting. We can, meeting. Yeah, yeah, we can give meeting. you preliminary authorization. Is that how you're clearing? When you when you are cutting, you're using a side. No, I made that. The weed whacker. I, I made that. Using? Only in a couple of places. Oh, last year I did the triangle. So after sense. Rick and I walked that. Who did the triangle this year? Who, that, it was the triangle at my intersection. Oh, your triangle. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, you, so, so back to the question: What are you using to keep my, the roadside cut down? The only place that I used a scythe and cut anything down was where well, there were two places. There was the triangle by my intersection. List pond. Triangle. The Bush Pond Triangle, mm -hmm. and then there was a section on the, on um, Huckinsnoss's land where it was too thick. But there are there are problems with um, you know over the bank Peter. in my place. My my impression from Rick's email was is that this wasn't just an approval. This was or a disapproval. This was a working out how this can happen in the future. This was working right. in those stages that. That you and I talked about uh, a couple of times this last winter on uh, Zoom. It, yeah, but yes, but Peter, it is the, the the immediate right now is that the town has line of sight expectations for the traveling public so mm -hmm. that people can see, and when they're when they're driving. So the, the stage we're at is figuring out what are the what where where are those. Uh, where is it necessary to pay attention to that? And what we want to do is give you and Alfred mm -hmm. authorization to, okay. you, know, well, you, don't, you, don't need, you don't need our authorization. That's inherent in Alfred's job to go look at it. Mm -hmm. I think, um, I would imagine the board is ready to say, and even without our signature, Peter, go ahead and address the things that Alfred says mm -hmm. you need to address. And, and come back at the next meeting and we'll document it. Okay. And, I, and I go back to my question. 
what are you using to keep, whether it's mowing or scything or whatever, what are you doing now to keep? Well, as I've said, I've scythed a triangle and a section. Of, no, what about the rest of the roads? I haven't, I haven't, so I haven't so cut anything. So there's no mowing going now, on. There are, there are large sections that don't have anything growing in them, the wooded areas and, and stuff, and that's the sort of stuff you need to look at is to uh, to see, it's not like running a tractor along the whole road. The, each section of the road, there are sections, and each one is different. Yeah, I guess I'll have to go Yeah, we really yeah. wanted an answer to my question. We have to, and we, but you we asked me to do here. something I couldn't hear. In the very beginning, you said, Peter, include me on what? Well, on um, this document that you sent to Sharon, Mark, Rick, and mm -hmm. Just Alfred, share and you didn't send it to John and I. Well, that was because that was a meeting that Sharon called. That was early a Zoom on. meeting. That was when we were having our working session. We had a Zoom oh, meeting in January was, and another one in ago. February or March. He's just using the same old email. And then he dropped the application off in the town office. The one thing I do want to ask the board, um, Peter submitted this with the application. This is the sign that he's proposing. This is the one I've used for three sure. years okay. now. I'm, I suppose you've seen this before. I've seen one. I was surprised to see that it says... Um, to test Callis Select Board trial. And I want to ask the board how you feel about this being labeled as a select board trial. That's what we're doing. Well, we're approving. We're, we're, we are agreeing to mm -hmm. I, the trial. I think it would be better said maybe if it said roadside mowing exclusion zone mm -hmm. to test point gerbil effectiveness approved. Trial approved by. That's approved by. Tri approved by. It's not our trial. It's I not our trial. trial. Yeah. That was officially yeah. signed that select board approved four years ago. Select board approved trial. Yeah. So you want to change the yeah. approved Cal select, select like board like trial to Cal right. approved select board trial? It's, it's not approved. a select board trial. It's okay. your trial and we're authorizing it to happen. So what's the wording you want me to use on the bottom line? Do you want to write it? Write it right. So, to test point your little Callis Select Board, we could just say approved as by, a pr as approved, approved by, as approved by. Approved 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 trial. Yeah. Why do we have to say Select Board? Because, because that was approved trial. No, because people will question. It was I the approved. Conservation Commission, Trails yeah. Committee. Right. Okay. Right. How about, yeah, authorized? Authorized yeah, trial? Yeah. Okay, so mm -hmm. Peter, if you stick the word authorized, authorized yeah. between yeah, Cal works. Select Board and trial, it's a Select Board authorized trial. Right, we're not, we're not doing point. it, you are. So just, so, okay, so, so I need to interject, and this is not Peter, this is me as a Select Board member. I have been mowing my roadsides. I use my mower conditioner, mow it. Um, or my weed whacker, and do I need to file an application now? Yes. You're yeah, not. Sure. You're not alone. Okay. Other people know. Other people. Well, I just. Don't, I, I want to make sure I'm doing what I should you're be doing outside citizens. of my role here as a citizen. I think that's a good question, and here's here's what here's my reaction to it. Maybe we should discuss it further. I think when we launched this I, this application, it was around people. These this is the places we generally refer, refer to as a no mo. Right. Which is different. I know my neighbor mows oh, a zone. Right. That's where it came from. Yeah. My neighbor mows a zone, and I wouldn't be surprised if Alfred gets you here. You wouldn't says, object if the town, for example, just came through where you mowed and just mowed. Yeah, mowed right. Yes, I would. You yeah. would? Because I've, I've kept the gerbil at bay. Then I'm not can. spreading seed on my property. Then that's should. been my issue. Well, 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 then it's, it's so called, a, it's and and it's called, a, it's called a private maintenance. Agreement. So okay, then I didn't file, and so I, that slipped my mind to this okay. now. So and, and my neighbor, I think, does it just because he gets tired of waiting for the town. Which is different. Which is different. Yeah. Um, okay, so I do want, want to give you back back sign. Oh, Peter, you want to sign back? Yeah. Um, Let's make sure um, Jerome gets it for the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will give it back to you as soon as I copy it onto mine, because I've got one with No, you. just take that. Here. You can take it. Otherwise, I'm going to eventually... Okay, we're ready for Okay, you don't want it. Yeah, right. we're ready for the Thompson right away. Peter, thank you very much. Thanks, Thanks for your time. Yeah. Thanks for cooperating with us. Yes. Oh, yeah. I'm going to come by, Peter. I want a tour of the church. Oh. I want to see what you're doing. Okay, well, uh, Alfred, you and I have to get together. Indeed. Uh, call me or whatnot. <coughs> okay. You gotta call early. You gotta call the town early. Between 7.30 and 8, right? <laughs> 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 Why don't you? Yeah, just give me a call. We'll figure it out.
Yeah. Okay. Good. Yeah, leave yeah. a voicemail. Yeah. You can still leave it at night so that he catches it early. Uh, I'm sorry? You can leave a voicemail at night and then you can catch it in the morning. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. All right. The Thompson application for use of the town right away. Alfred, we have got it signed. It's now signed by the property owner. Do you have, this is the J.A. McDonald. This is this one dated yeah, yeah. May 10th. Do you have any input for us on this one? Uh, my input is that it's not an issue. Uh, there's a very small portion of this work that's going to be in our right away. Okay. And it's right near the telephone pole. Okay. There's already underground utilities there. Uh, it's not going to impact our right away. Okay. Can so I talk to Sylvia and Ron? I mean, Sylvia's husband. Wait a minute, going back to what I made before I go back, small portions in the town right away, it won't impact. Will not impact our road right away. Road four right away, maybe. It's, so, it's no, and so, no conditions. That's correct. Okay. There's no so is there a motion to approve the um, J.A. McDonald so application Second. for the Thompson County? Any other discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Abstaining? Okay. Okay. So, so do you have to move 27, 2022. All right. So I'll send this around for signature. Um, Alfred. Do you have any thoughts of some emergency? Yes, not an emergency, but just uh, sort of as you guys are all aware. Uh, we have got the final paperwork for grants, and we are able to start that work as of July 1. Okay. So, one is this the bridge? Is this no, the bridge? No, this is the grant's name. No, not the bridge. This is the uh, grant's name. Grant and aid. There's Peck, also Peck a structures Hill. grant, which is right. One is Peck Hill, mm -hmm. one is also Moscow Woods. Two grants. Is, which is the one I want to talk about the most is is Moscow Woods. We're going to have to close that road oh, wow. for a time uh -oh. to, to I mean, you get a box. It's a box cut, so we're cutting the whole is road out three feet down and adding new material, under drain, all that. Is this to fix a clay building? Yes. This is to dig out the clay oils, which we got grants for. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's great. I mean, so you're it's actually a class two, class two grant. It's a class two highway grant. So it's from the state, and uh, it's, it's worth the it, worth the work. Because uh, every spring, we're just feeding those holes mm -hmm. in the gravel. And, and, and is this at like the intersection of? Jack Hill and Moscow. Mm -hmm. that really that's one stretch. There's like three or four different stretches, mm -hmm. different lengths. Some of them are 100 feet, some of them are 200 feet. Uh, equals 500 feet in total. Yeah. So we're going to have to. So we'll have to. We're going to have to make a make bunch of. Aware. Like several several, several announcements on front porch yeah. forms so people see. Is this, does this have to be tonight or is it? No, no, I'm just okay. making you guys aware. You guys up. don't have to do anything <laughs> other than be aware. Okay, you know, so, so Rick, Rick with his, with his. Uh, we can make an announcement on our website. We can. Right. If as long as we have dates. Forum, maybe like watch the sign on each other. Yeah. Yeah. From now to yeah. Now. yeah. You and I, yeah. you. Yeah. Something of that I picture. think a lot, and, and not just once on front porch forum. Early, early, said early and often. Yeah. And Who's doing that? I mean, is it? If you, you guys. Okay, okay, so that's fine. We can, and I can uh, just, all I just need the updates. But you don't so. need any, we're not, we don't have to approve that here? No. Just no. say, okay. I mean, it'll be a couple of weeks, weeks. weeks. Yeah, anyway, because yeah. now I'm moving on to the sand pile. I want to get that behind Okay, us. Well, anything else? Sorry, I, if you think I'm rushing, I am. Yeah, we're going to I sense that, but yes. yeah. Yeah, okay. right. we're behind <laughs> schedule already again. Yeah. Just nothing personal, but thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Sam. Okay, John, recycling center. Oh, I spoke with Dennis Fecker from the this up from the solid waste program at AR, and we had a lot of back and forth conversation. Actually, first by email, and I said we got to talk. And and it's not jurisdictional. There are two types of exemptions under the solid waste regulations, solid waste rules. One is for a recycling facility. If, it were, if we had a town-run recycling facility where we had a bin on the ground where residents came in 
put their recyclables in the bin. We wanted to keep recyclables stored on the ground in a bin. We could perform that function on an annual basis, up to 50 tons of recyclables combined per year and not need a permit. It's an exemption in the rules, in the listed exemptions, non-jurisdictional, right? Okay. Um, and then the second type of exemption in this kind of issue area is where you see this across from the WEC, uh, WEC office, and you mm -hmm. smoke fill your yeah, in the parking lot there, there. Yeah. is a guy with a garbage truck. Right. And you can toss your bags there, give them a bag, or your bag of recyclables, and they keep that separate. That's the type, the second is the operation we have here. That also is specifically exemption from the regulation, exempted from the regulations, i.e. non-jurisdictional. And you know, I have a phone call because I used to work in this program, like, no, Dennis, I know you might want me to do this, or you might want the town of Cal's to do this, but you have no jurisdiction, right? right? So, so it's like saying it would be great for bicycles to have license plates and insurance, but they're exempt. Okay? So, again. so he said, well, can you just send me a letter so I can close out the file? So I don't keep you on my, my tickler list. So I just wanted to run that past you. I would like to just draft an email to him. I'll copy the select board saying uh, we... We actually don't even operate the facility. It's operated by right. a hauler well, it's an who, yeah, who it's an collects the recyclables on the truck Saturday morning for three hours right. and collects the trash at the same time. It all leaves with him. It never touches the ground. Right. It's non-jurisdictional. It's exempt. There's no storage. And there's no storage. Right. And there's not even a component that reaches the ground. So, um, so, are you looking for so, a, so I just want to let you know, I, I don't even know what so you're looking for. I just want to let you know, I'm writing under the town's name, yeah. I need you to send me a letterhead. Okay. I'll, I'll put it in a letter form, it's attached okay. to an email. Thank you. So there's that. Um, and and on other business, i got a real quick thing to bring up, that's all. Okay, so we'll go on now to Denise and Arpa. Okay, so I did a quick spreadsheet um, on the Arpa funds and We've received, I think I've said this many times before, we've received our first installment. The second installment will come in August of 2022, and I double check today with CBRPC to make sure that everybody's still getting their money, that the federal government didn't decide to take it away. Um, and she assured yeah. me that yes. Um, you'll remember that we had quite a process to go in and get everything authorized in the federal portal. Um, so Thank you, Denise. Yeah, you did not. You did. Oh, we did. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Curtis Pond Dam has asked for thirty thousand dollars. I try, and if you think there's a better explanation or something that you want to see different on this spreadsheet, please let me know because I can I can redo it. But I thought the basic stuff is who's asking for the funds, what the project is, who will benefit. That's good. Yeah. Um, and the amount requested amount awarded if we decide to, and then any other comments. So anybody can go in here and do their own thing. But Curtis Pond Dam has asked for 30. East Calus Fire District has asked for 30. And it's my understanding, and I could be wrong, because I am off of, that the fire district might be eligible for additional state ARPA funds. Do you, do you agree? Have you heard that? I mean, yes, in our process of getting involving loans from the state, those are largely funded by our uh, or the, they're a large chunk of our money will go into those in general. Right. We take out loan, 30, 35 year loans and at their discretion they decide what percentage of that will be subsidized. And what that changes from year to year, that's up to them. Which we yeah. Know. Okay, because I heard, I heard that there were going to be additional funds from Sorry. Would you introduce yourself? Oh, sorry. My name is Randy. Randy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Randy. Sit back here. Uh, no. Who you're representing. And, and who you represent because our minute taker isn't here and, and she'll have a big fat gap. Oh, that's right. Yeah. My name is Randy Picas. I'm the clerk of the East Calus Fire District. Thank you. Yeah. On behalf of the fire yeah. district. Yeah. And you had sent us a request for $30,000. Yeah. Um, so I put that on our list. Mm -hmm. And um, Twin Valley Senior Center has asked for three thousand eighty-four dollars, and they are asking from all of the six towns a pro rata amount based on how much each town is receiving. Um, and then I had some.
questions about what might we need for our funds. I want to see a generator here because this is an emergency management facility mm -hmm. if there's a disaster. Um, town office, what other things besides this um, storage closet conversion, what do we need? You know, at the town office. What? And Jeremy was supposed to put together a list, but I haven't seen one, so I'll have to remind them. Andy might want to be checked in with, too. He might see some yeah. maintenance items. That one of, the, yeah, digitization of land records. Some towns, um, more town, notably, because after their flood, everything is digital. You can get tax bills on your, on your website. Well, I think that's, yeah, yeah digitization of land records. Well, but if that's a land, that's beyond land records. So, so what is it called? What's the right term? Um, and, and other and other municipal documents. But when Jeremy t mentioned tonight, you know, all the calls for tax bills. Every time somebody is looking, is you know, if every time there's a, a property transaction, mm -hmm. they're going to get a phone call looking for a tax bill unless you know the property owner supplies it. But. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so, um, and who, bene who benefits from that if we're going to keep with this kind of a, I put down residents, researchers, attorneys, who, anybody else? The town office, because they get fewer calls. They can steer people to the website. Town office staff? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And more town is, I mean, I'm sure there's others, but more town comes to mind as a little tiny town mm -hmm. that push you to the website to find what you need. Okay. Um, and then the other... Is that it on that? That was, that was it on that one, yeah. And CB Fiber has asked for at least 200000 They would like more. And as you can see, our list, and it may grow. I'm thinking when we do a public meeting, um, when I have a chance, I'll work on a draft survey that we can hand out at the public meeting or put at the town office, put on the website. Um, That's good, yeah. um, Put it on Front Porch Forum. And then we just need to schedule a public meeting. And have a deadline. And have a deadline, right. And I think we can do it at like maybe from like a 6.30 to 7, on a select board night. And then we'll just have to make sure people, here's your survey. I don't, I'm sure you've taught us this before, Denise, but I don't, I don't remember. Um, there, you know, we heard from one person earlier that some of our key positions in, in town are not, is that a limitation of these funds? I think that salaries are a limitation. I don't. I, will, I would expect that, yeah. but I want to make sure that the record. Yeah. 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 I think the record needs to be clear that paying. Yeah, paying people is not. And yeah, it's a one-time thing. Well, it used to. It used to be that you couldn't purchase like trucks and equipment type stuff. But I think if there's something the highway department needs, Rick. When you're, when you're speaking about this stuff, yeah. um, I can double check because when we, when the federal government changed it and called it the standard allowance, they also made it so that there's a lot more things that are eligible for funding. So I will double check on salaries, um, and the reporting requirements are a lot less stringent. So the federal government really made it easier, made it easier, which is amazing. And I mean, and mm -hmm. even if the salaries were allowed. You know, or bonuses, or bonuses. It's still, you know. Yeah, I think it has to be. Yeah, we'd have to sustain that. It would be hard to sustain that. Yeah, um, and I think that that's one of the one criteria time. thing is you can't sustain one-time expenses. Are right. So it's like one right. time. Yeah. And, and we may come to the conclusion after a meeting, surveys, um, that we can give more to, mm -hmm. you know, East Cal Fire District or. CB Fiber, I think CB Fiber is like, that's gonna be the big one that we're gonna hear about. People want better and faster internet. Mm -hmm. um, but it would be nice to, if we could figure out a date that we might do this public hearing, and that will give me a kick in the butt to keep going on the survey. Could we do it on July 25th? 6.30 to 7? Yep. Isn't, no, isn't that when we, oh no, we moved that to August mm -hmm. then. That's what's the yeah. those trees. No, no more trees on that day. Um, I'm actually out of town, so I'm away July 25th. Yeah. 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 Ye
July 27th. Is it okay to give it? We will have to go mean? for it anyways. The select board. Mark, did you take one? So, July 25th, I think it's okay. Yeah, well, I'll be there. Yeah, it's okay. But we would, yeah, I'm yeah. sure we have a forum. Okay. Yeah. So well, and, and you're the vice chair. Right. That's why I keep looking at you. Yeah, I know. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so. I might be gone on the 11th, but I'm back. Back. I thought you were gone now. I'm not. I'm right here. I know. <laughs> I thought you were gone now until July 8th. Yeah. Okay. But he's right, right here. <laughs> Thank okay. you. Being formed. Okay, 6 30, public. Public, I'm just going to call it on the agenda, we'll call it public comment. And then we'll have a survey to hand out. <coughs> so when I send a survey around, I'd appreciate it if people really look at it, if you can have any additional okay. is, questions. Is there any requirement that it, this is like a totally <coughs> um, minuscule thing, but if we, if people are expecting a hearing because we've been using that term, not it's not required to be that. No, you're not even required to do anything. Somehow, it's just a outreach. somebody I was talking to, oh, no, the number, Cynthia, the number, township lives in Ocean you know, County, remember, they aren't doing any public anything. They're, they're just, they're just, anyway. they're just deciding, the select board is deciding on its own without any public input what to do with the money. Okay, okay. okay. Good. Great. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So there's, so we're, yeah. So what, what do we <coughs> oh, cut fiber. bait, fish or cut bait? CV uh, fiber is to know by September 1st. Okay. So that, I, of course, that's foremost in my mind. Yeah, that, right. That's the thing that's in everybody's system. mind. So I think we have a total of like 400 and some thousand. Right there, Mark. Not 479,477. Yeah, 479, yeah, okay. It's <coughs> a lot of money for us. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> All right. So we're going to, to are we going to come up with some kind of this discussion <coughs> for 15 minutes of, of of like some kind of just general criteria we would kind of be thinking about anyway, something formal in yeah, terms of yeah. prioritizing these, like the largest benefit to the broadest well, segment of the public. Right, and that's why I said who benefit. Stuff. And, you know, you know, the essential, uh, yeah. the essentiality, if that's a word, versus just right. for grins, you know. Well, and I think like CV fiber, that's gonna that's gonna right. improve everything right. for everybody in town. Right. It's not just a specific right. group. Um, I'm thinking the water, the water right. issue. That's, that's, that's a public health issue. You know, it's right. a public essential. The water, you mean? The, the water. No, no, no. The East Calais Fire District. Right. District. right. Oh, yeah. I see. And yeah. that serves. The yeah. people in the East California. Right. Right. But it's an essential, it'd be like a <coughs> storage plant. You know, right, I think there has, yeah, I mean, there has to be some criteria that we're going to look so at. So we should think about getting that going in well, September this year soon. But what we're saying, <laughs> uh, what, what you're saying, just, and I, the, I saw this repeat exactly what you said, but there has to be a, a direct and positive impact, impact mm -hmm. to people who live in Taos. Right, right. I mean, it sounds like I mean, these are sort of oranges, apples, and bananas, and I like your spreadsheet and what's the benefit and all that. And I feel comfortable when you're done with that. We'll be able to look at it as a group and say, okay, here's, well, here's how we're going to divide it. Well, but John, yeah, but what John's anticipating is that we get a million dollars worth of requests, and we haven't even had this conversation. And it's harder to have those conversations when there's projects sitting in front of you and you're building criteria around no. That's right. No requests. Then no more are your criteria objectively arm's length set. They're set to, you know, gerrymander a result. So if you have some ideas, John, let me know. Well, we said one. I've never. We said one. Short on ideas. I we, will definitely do that. But we said one that it's a direct impact to yeah. people in Calus. In Calus, that maybe that has to be a, you know, public health or serve as public health or. Municipal or economic oh, okay. safety. Yeah. Uh, well, we have a CV fiber system. I'm doing. I'm already doing it. CV fiber. That's not public health. No, but it benefits everybody in town. It could, right. Well, but well, it is. It could be a safety public health. I think that if we had this that again, it's economic. I think. Right. It's I would suggest to me it's, it's community development. That one person that maybe I would nominate to least to come up with the criteria. Or maybe you work with her. Okay. Yeah, we together. Yeah, as long as I don't want to see a point system, I hate that. Oh, no. 
no dots, no points. No, no, but, no and no, then but, the turn around at the town hall, to me, that's a safety. Yeah. Well, I we'll think we, and that's yeah. a bit, and that may, I'm actually looking into BEM grant because they're, with the cyber, they're worried about cyber attacks on the grid. Mm -hmm. And so there's a lot of effort and maybe money coming money. out yeah. there, separate uh -huh. money too. So I'm trying to find out yeah. where that's going because okay. that may be another avenue. So we might not yeah. even use this money for that. Yeah. All right. All right. So Mark and I get together. Excellent. Mark and Denise, excellent okay. team yeah. on that question. Okay. Okay. Ready? Treasury report. Let me just look at the times so we can all. We're way off. We have right. So I already. Way off. Yeah. So here is a copy of the memo that I put together for the board. I sent you guys. I'm sorry. I have last seen several. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you Randy. Thanks, Randy. Thanks, Randy. Denise, go ahead. Okay. So I don't know if you have a chance to read this because I sent it out late. Um, this is just to tell you where we are with things that are going on using Nemeric. Um, Sandy, we've got a lot of Sandra, but she is still, will answer the phone when I call and answer a quick question. Okay, yeah. Um, and yeah. Nemeric has said how wonderful she left everything. Um, so it's the biggest, I think everything else, you just need to read it. Um, the biggest thing coming up is the tax bills. And you can see there, there's sort of a timeline. Um, Cindy, Cynthia, I guess she goes by, needs to know by the week of July 18th that the listers have filed their final as billed, I guess they call it, grand list with PDR. Um, and she has to know the week of the 18th so she can work to set help. Suggest a suggested tax rate and then set the tax rate, which we would need to approve on July 25th. This is coming up really fast. Mm -hmm. And in talking with Cynthia and listening to um, Sandra and Barbara, if you look from her list of duties, this is a big project. So we're not going to have anybody in the office to stuff tax bills. So we need to recruit. Maybe so we can recruit some volunteers to. Well, tax bills like just printed out, like everything in that book. That's how they get. Yeah, they are, but you have to stuff them all in envelopes, fold them and stuff them. They're not in a. Okay, I was thinking they're more like a motor vehicle thing where you're. No, yeah, they're not. No. So I blocked, I have it on my calendar for the. That's right. Eight. That's right. Yeah, so I don't know whether we want to, like, I don't know how long it'll take. I've helped stuff tax bills before. Can we do a request on from Porch Forum if people want to help us? I'm, I'm thinking about asking, and this is what I wanted to ask you guys, I'm thinking about asking the justices of the peace, the ones that were here tonight, mm -hmm. That's good. to see if they would come and help stuff. Yep. And we would need Cynthia would be there when we're doing it, mm -hmm. because sometimes there's questions or there's issues. But the biggest thing is going to be when the payments start coming in, I hope we have a treasurer by then. Because payments are going to start coming in <coughs> mid September. And there's, you know, the process when you get a check is you have to check the check and make sure what's the date on it. Does the written amount equal the printed amount, dollar amount? Is it signed? Um, you know, is it, the right, is it the right amount? And then the tax, the checks have to be somehow input into the NEMRIC. So it's, it's a big deal. It's going to be a big process, especially if we don't have a treasurer. Mm -hmm. So anyways, everything else is just to uh, kind of keep you guys updated on what's going you. on. Why does can someone remind me? We have an applicant for the treasurer, right? We're going to talk about these things in the second okay. session. That's why I part of my treasurer. Okay, thank you. Okay. Um, okay, so we have Denise's treasurer report. Um, let's just... Let me just ask, does anybody have anything that they want to bring up that isn't otherwise on our radar? Okay, otherwise, I, I guess, you well, did it? Old business. Uh, you can remove the, the Worcester Tower and our need to participate in any process or they withdraw? amicus briefs or whatever. Um, the Just real quick, the town, and having received this applicant's there's like an early notice, if you remember when the towers were proposed here, there's a notice 
that goes out prior to application being filed, pre application hearing, and they had it, and the town planning commission drafted changes to the town plan to better address the tower. Thank you, Denise. Mm -hmm. Matter because they didn't think their plan was tight enough, although they did have language. They moved it through their process as quick as possible. The select board approved it, uh, and then it became final. Uh, so that was some change. There were some changes there, but um, the landowner, turns out, had an opt out of the contract. The landowner had the nice tower was to be decided on. He had an opt out. Oh, I didn't know that. He had, I didn't know either, he's all confidential, he's not all talking about the contract, but in an opt-out and he needed to basically sign again or renew again or something and he chose not to renew the contract. And so the project's dead over, wow. and so we're done. Um, but I think everyone's engagement on that had a big effect, so I'm going to slip forward to so the help our wonderful so the project, out. The project is dead and I've had it, um, so he should be waiting for the development, but no more. It's all done. done. It's, all it's done. done. The people okay. in Worcester must be. Uh, They're so happy, and uh, I'll leave wow. it at that. Okay. So um, July 11th, what we have on our future items is Lewis Porter has requested to meet with us. Lewis lives in town, and he is the new general manager at Washington Electric Co-op. Just wants to come and say hi. Yep. Um, we have said that we would. July is the season when we start paying attention to Alfred's reappointment, so we want to not drop that this year, so I have that on the agenda that night. And we need to keep on the radar, I'll be obtuse here, um, that, that prospect we were looking at in executive session regarding um, the lease, leasing or lease purchasing of land. Right. Somewhere oh, right. Else in Calus to stockpile right. That's gravel. Something, and that's on my executive session list. That I sent okay. you, you right. guys an email. Um, I'll, um, Tim Wheelock, I promised him time on July 11th. Um, Rick, I'm very much hoping that you and and Tim, that you bringing Tim into your group and your work on speed bumps and, and traffic calming. Otherwise, we're going to have a citizen here and we're going to, it's going to be very disparate for discussion if that's not kind of congealed ahead of time. Look into the legality of it. As I have been told years ago, you weren't allowed to do that. You yeah. don't want to really be doing it on it. Well, I'm just saying, in terms of legality, yeah. it's just, it's just <coughs> but, but I would imagine there's an opportunity to get a citizen involved in right. what you're doing, and it's all when So are so we suggesting that we combine a well, Tim Willock speaker thing together? Well, that's my, but I don't want to put that on Tim until. You know, he asked for time, and I promised it to him. Right, but he, I imagine he would be interested in the speed cart discussion. Well, right. So, but I want, you know, if he, if he, if he still wants to talk about it, yeah, I mean, bumps, then, but I want, I'm hoping that Rick can talk to him and say, here's a better <coughs> solution, blah, 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 and that can happen offline. Okay, so then uh, the town hall usage policy, Mark, I put your name on this. I know, surprise. Um, <laughs> you weren't here. Um, there is a, we had a town hall usage policy that I think we approved a year ago, and and it's due for renewal. And so I put it on for the next okay, meeting um, and let you take the lead on that. And Stephanie has um, wanted to talk to us about road standards if we have time. Um, and then we thought we would invite new road crew members. This is a very full agenda without even whatever's going to come up between right. now and then. Um, okay, so let's, um, with all of that said, let's, I sent you guys a list of things we need to talk into in executive session. I think we need a motion to go into executive session for personnel related conversation under 1313, section Title 1, 313A. So moved. Second. Okay, any questions, discussion? All in favor, please say aye. 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 Okay. Thanks, Gerard.